What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Mayflower 24-hour assault pack. Now, as the title states, you know, it's a 24-hour assault pack. It's definitely going to be something that you're not going to pack in, you know, the kitchen sink with. It's going to be something that you're going to pack in a minimal amount of stuff for, for a minimal journey. Now, as Mayflower is known for, they're known for making quality stuff. And this 24-hour uh, assault pack is no exception. You know, all the buckles and all the hardware on here is ITW Nexus IR hardware and you have some actual metal hardware as far as the adjustment points on the top here and uh, we'll get into that when we start talking about the two different ways you can run this pack. Now the cool thing about this is it's made of 500D Cordura. It's not made of 1000D so it's definitely lightweight and it's minimalist in nature. So on the inside of the pack here what you have is the, the ability to put a hydration pouch. I use a two liter uh, hydration pouch and you can put that into the uh, pocket right here. And then the main compartment, you'll have the ability to put your gear uh, right there. As you can see, it's a pretty nice amount. On the front here, you have the ability to use this uh, front pouch, which is a, you know, it's probably about seven inches wide and about 10 inches uh, long. And that just gives you the ability to put more uh, gear that you might have that's of the smaller variety. Now on the front here, you actually have a bungee, um, bungee shock cord kind of a deal. I don't have it on here because I put it on a different pack but you have the ability to hatch even more stuff, you know, like a, a tarp or some sort of uh, schma, et cetera. You can put that on the front here and, you know, expand a little bit on this if you'd like to. On the side here, you can see that all the attention to detail is there. You have these, uh, you know, webbing uh, retainers. Uh, you can take them off if you're not a big fan of them, but they definitely make sure that you don't have any extra stuff hanging off of your uh, packs, etc. And that goes across the board for all the uh, packs and, and items that Mayflower make. Now, there's two different ways you can run this pack. You can run it in a standalone version, which is just like this, which is with the shoulder straps, um, or you can take the shoulder straps off and you can run this on a plate carrier, etc. Something with uh, PALS webbing. You can use this Molly strap right here that goes through uh, the webbing and you can attach it directly to your pack. Um, so there's two different ways you can run it. Um, and you know, each way that I've used it, it's worked well. I've actually used this in conjunction with uh, their uh, Gen 5 chest rig, their split front chest rig that I have. That I've done a review on in the past. I run this in conjunction with that. Uh, I probably had to rig it a little bit. It wasn't the proper way to do it, but I attached it on there and uh, I run it with that and I've had no problems. Now when talking about attention to detail, the one thing you'll notice is, you know, on their zippers here, you know, they have these little tabs right here that are, they're kind of grippy to a degree and they're different. A lot of people run paracord when they sell their packs that, you know, is the grab handle, but there's this little kind of grippy, it doesn't have any name on it or anything like that, but it actually has some, uh, texture to it. So, I mean, that's a little bit different. You know, you're going to see stuff, you're going to see different stuff uh, from Mayflower uh, than you will from other companies because they try to go out there and use the best and the most innovative, you know, hardware that's on the market. And it's definitely apparent in the stuff that they're selling. You know, if you wanted to expand on this pack a little bit, you know, on the sides here, you have some uh, PALS webbing on both sides. Um, so, if you wanted to expand and put a little bit more hydration or put some more, you know, some sort of a pouch uh, on each side, you can do that. You know, if it's just a little bit too small for you. So that's always an option as well. It also has a drain uh, hole in the bottom. So it's definitely, you know, able to, uh, you know, get the water out of there and uh, not retain water. It has a grab handle on the top right here, as you see. You know, the thing Mayflower is known for is their quality of work. And you can see that in the, you know, stitching work they do. And I'll have a close up of this. And, you know, the work they do is top notch. The bar tacks are, you know, very well done. You know, nothing's coming apart. I've had this for about a year now and used it in different, you know, areas. And I've had no problems whatsoever with anything coming apart. And uh, the quality of work is just, you know, the best that you could probably find on the market. They have a couple different colors. They have, this is a ranger green color. They also have the coyote brown. Uh, and they also make this in a light lock material, which is even lighter than the 500D Cordura. Um, so they definitely have different options out there. So if you guys are looking for a smaller type pack, you're not looking for, you know, a three day pack or an extended stay pack, you know, this is definitely something I would look into if I were you. Definitely put it on the list. Definitely go out and take a look at the specs and uh, what it has to offer. And uh, if you guys have one, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or uh, better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. Um, of the, uh, the actual stitch that's done, it's not even making sense.